solid mind here and today we are looking on how you can get free photoshop and how you can use it in a web browser one of the biggest issues of trying to get photoshop for free is you don't want to you know pirate the license do you and also photoshop is a powerful system that requires a lot of ram to run properly why not have it online for free for you to use if you go on google and type in photo p p h o t o p e a photo p dot com in the url or on google or on bing or yahoo search whatever you like to use you will find this photo p photo p is basically photoshop but not really photoshop so if you've ever used photoshop you will basically look at this and be like how is there a free photoshop version online but it is so start using photo p there you go this looks like what you would use if you were um, using photoshop so let's just do something new let's do let's look at templates so i can show you how to use this like photoshop um i do youtube quite a lot so let me do youtube and here you go there are some thumbnails already created for you this is free by the way um so let's go for uh YouTube thumbnail, your text. There we go. That one looks fine. Click on it and it's gonna load. So this literally looks like Photoshop. I'm gonna fly through this just to show you that this works like Photoshop. Uh, and also there's, the only thing is there's ads on the side, but it's free, come on. This is the exact same letters Photoshop pretty much. Um, so if you use control and the scroll wheel on your mouse, it goes side to side if you remove control and use a scroll wheel by itself it goes up and down if you press oh i'm on windows by the way if you press alt it zooms in on the scroll wheel so there we go um so let's say i want to change something obviously i can click on that and type in solid then go down here what if now i don't want to have this text down here so as you can see it's a classic so right now i'm using this one only so i can only move this by itself like photoshop uh next text is the one down there like photoshop and i can do mind here so this is solid mind let me go back to solid control it literally just like photoshop um what else can i do uh the background uh the background is the background that's fine you can also drag and drop images into here like photoshop um and change things up you can also trim cut change the cut literally everything you can do in um photoshop you can do here and then when you're done you go to file and you can export as PSD. PSD are the same files that you can use in Photoshop. So let's say you already have found a Photoshop file online or maybe in, a, in your own work, you use Photoshop and you want to, you know, go home and make a few little changes. You can download it, you can upload it as PSD, use it here, download, save it as PSD. You can also export it png jpeg web pdf everything so you can press that boom it's going to download it it gives you the option what to call it i'm going to call this um solid mind i can pick the quality uh, i want uh i'm going to keep it at 100 because you got to keep it 100 percent okay as close as i can do 100 um then you save it it should download um now here it says confirm did you know 
for five pound a month you can remove ads on the side and support photo p so if you want to support them you can do it i'm not sponsored by photo p but this is the way you can get photoshop for free yes there's ads on the side but if you have a wide screen this doesn't really matter and you know what i use this all the time because it's like a i'm not a power user i'm not using photoshop every day and b you are able with this to quickly make thumbnails you can remove the background of of pictures where, where is it this is it so you long press here uh well no that's the wrong two this is the the lasso magnetic lasso too you know you can use it to draw around and stuff do you see like the magnetic like this works the same as click there click there i'm just doing like a a rough thing here so do that then i'm going to render it there we go and then i can go right and make it a smart object where is convert a smart object boom that compresses everything into one thing just one item so like that's how you can remove the background obviously deselect it as always like stuff like that i know i just made it worse but you have the power to do stuff like this guys and it's all in the browser you can do it and you can obviously remove projects add projects add layers here um you can mask move there's so much that you can do on this and honestly i recommend you have a look at it when you have a chance to so let's go through the settings there's file these are all the settings in file to save export it there's edit so the classic transform if you don't know the shortcuts you can use these there's image there is layers there is select there is filters and for example like let's just say now i want to add the text on here i'll just press text start typing me there we go and uh, i can move this down move it around do the hokey pokey um yes me me mind that's fine uh so this is the layer you can do the oh it's called me now so on this i can do the classic i can increase the size decrease the size i can change the background color make it whatever i want um let's keep it the way it is for now i can also press on that button change the width so if i add a stroke um it then makes it wider let me can i make this let's make it uh, 10. there we go see so now if i click off it you can see now that it's uh put a background around it so stuff like this is why i love this and obviously you can obviously export it there is view there is windows this is free photoshop but anyway guys let me know are you gonna use it if you are comment down below saying thanks solid mind that's all you gotta say just thanks solid mind because this is free it is available it is not piracy you are using a free online version of photoshop that is powerful enough to do what you need thanks for watching like comment, subscribe, and peace.